What up, guys? CP the Tool Addict. Woo! We've got a micro tool haul today. So, micro tool haul. But first, I want to get into something I messed up on with the micro pro tool video that I did. Uh, that I've been meaning to address for a while. So, uh, these are very cool. And this, this entire tool haul uh, for these two items today... If I remember correctly, I think cost less than $40. This is a crazy, crazy tool haul. So we're going to talk about some uh, micro stuff. Anyways, stick around because guess what? Get ready for the video. All right. So the shocking discovery that several of you had made on this video, and I don't know how I missed it, but I completely dropped the ball on this. And uh, because I just immediately wrote these off as breaker bars, but these Michael Pro breaker bars, are actually drive-ins on them. Can you believe that? So you can literally stick your quarter inch, three eighths, your favorite dratchet, and you have yourself uh, a, dr a drive, an extension, and a breaker bar all in one, which was absolutely a pretty genius idea. About a six inch extension. And then of course we pull out the old Three eighths, and I tell you what, you really put these on a locking extension, and uh, you got yourself. Now, uh, I think this where this would really come in handy. Probably change an tire in an emergency situation. Like I said, I'm not uh, I'm not a big fan of using breaker bars to be that all that honest. My snap on ratchets, uh, plenty stout for normally what I do. In fact, I usually have another ratchet to go up to. I go up to a three quarter uh, if I get to the point to where. A half inch is too much, I go to a three-quarter. So a lot of guys will say, you need a breaker bar. Well, I'd rather have a bigger ratchet, you know? That's all it is. You know, when a, when a man is so dumb that he keeps doing things wrong, you just get him a bigger club. That's all there is to it, you know? He, he can beat the hell out of it with a bigger club, and that's kind of how I am. But I thought this was a pretty neat idea, and I, I kind of dropped the ball on that. So we're definitely uh, definitely pretty neat deal there, though. <laughs> Drive extensions on these uh and they're they're well made made in taiwan so not a bad gig at all in my opinion uh the foam ev foam tray you know the lack of intelligence in this world nowadays because they don't some people don't understand that uh this stuff that's made overseas is almost as superior to some of the uh usa made stuff unfortunately this is the reality uh folks uh not everything from in, a, in america anymore is um spot on in fact an interesting fact i'll put a graph up here on the screen usa i think total manufacturing for tools now is like up to nine percent and uh other we're we're one of the lowest countries in the on the planet that are tool manufacturers so it uh it is what it is you know i'm not saying i don't love my usa tools i absolutely do but they got to be the right quality too because i mean anybody can you know beat a hole in a can and you know say it's a trash can right but uh Making something that's truly uh, a specimen of quality is in enjoyable. So, at the end of the day, what it all boils down to is, is your mind open or closed? Do you have perspective or not? So, with that being said, we're going to get into this very micro tool haul. Seen these, saw these, and I thought, you know, I'm, I am I bagged on Duratec when they first came out. I'm not afraid to admit my faults. And, uh, you know, when I'm wrong about something... I still stand behind my first set of uh, Duratec tools that I had, those S wrenches and the half moon wrenches. The, the quality was pretty poor. The buckles and how they were made were pretty poor. But um, after getting a couple of the other sets of wrenches, I was kind of impressed for the price of them. Now, once again, this is the same company that owns SK now. This is uh, out of China, uh, great star industries, but they own WorkPro. And uh, uh, having a couple conversations with people behind the scenes, I was kind of impressed with their enthusiasm for quality which uh also gave me the uh motivation to want to look at more of their stuff now you can I, this is not a sponsored video i paid for these 100 percent, which it doesn't matter if it it doesn't matter if they send them to me or not i'll be honest with you i ain't gonna bs anybody because it's not worth it to me to take that chance uh and eventually i'd like to give them away to people that do need them you know that's uh that's the that's the whole goal of this i guess is to help them help people out in places random acts of kindness not not acts of kindness for out of spite or uh acts of kindness so that i can gain clout 
Uh, I don't really care about that. That's not me. So uh, with, with that being said, I know, a little bit too much personal information. You're like, CP, can you just shut up and show us the tool? Okay, I get it, okay? I get it, I get it, I get it. But look at the pouch that these come in, and there's your part number, DTM CW20MS. This is a micro standard and metric set of wrenches. And you get a lot of wrenches for $20. I don't know if I can get this thing to stay up. Come here. Come here, little fella. Stay open. And uh, I went right to the little guy right off the bat. And I looked, went right to this little wrench. This little guy. And, and granted, these are not these are not big wrenches. But I was absolutely blown away by this tiny little wrench and the quality. Is it is China uh, capable of manufacturing a decent quality tool? I, I obviously they are, you know. Uh, and I'm not I'm not sticking up for China and saying, hey, you guys go buy China and whatnot. But uh, I, I'm I'm starting to think that Duratec uh, might be an up and coming industry leader uh, for China in this manufacturing game. Here, let me get something. I can't even hold on to this wrench; it's so tiny. We'll bring out the mantis tweezers and use them. For this, but uh, I want you to look at the buckle ends of this. They're not, they're not, you're not going to get anything out of this wrench that's really great. You're not going to get anything that you're going to see out of this wrench that's going to be, you know, eye popping over quality, you know. And obviously, snap on probably goes a little bit deeper. They're pretty thin. I don't have any snap on micros. I think I have some old craftsmen's. Let's look at the bigger one because I'm tired of holding that little guy. Obviously, these look a little bit awkward. But uh, even even machining on the buckle, there might be might be slightly thinner over on this side. Could be wrong. I uh, haven't gone through all of them. But <clears throat> for twenty dollars for a set of micro wrenches, which aren't used a ton uh, in my experience, but uh, they're not bad for a standard metric. These go up to eleven millimeter down to four millimeter. They are no skipped. And this one goes from. 7 sixteenths down to 5 30 seconds, which is a crazy small wrench, to be honest with you. But for $20, like I said, and I always advocate doing something for everybody on the channel. And that's why I look at these tools, because I figure, you know, if somebody else is going to do this for a tool review, uh, and they might give uh, a false bias opinion, Whereas I know that I'm going to be honest and look at this and scrutinize it to the utmost, uh, you know, utmost uh, that up to my capabilities, to be honest with you. But if you look here, they're a little bit weird for the for the ending, but this isn't a high torque application. You're not going to be using a ton of leverage on these these uh, tools. Some of them are 12 point. I will I will state that uh, if you haven't noticed that yet. Some of them are 12 point and some are 6 point. And I'm on the uh, four millimeter is obviously. A six point, like I said, I'm trying to manufacture that small guy. This three sixteenths is a six point, which is not a big deal. I doubt you're going to get into a super tight spot. So, nonetheless, I know you guys are like, can we just see the rest of the tool? Absolutely. Let's go ahead and uh, let's look at the bits now because the bit kit is a two piece bit kit. This is a 56 piece bit set micro driver set. All right, the very cool thing about, I like about this right off the bat was is this little crate configuration of these bits which i thought was absolutely a, a phenomenal idea now i really don't need any more bits or bit kits but uh once again i climbed down the rabbit hole i seen the, the branches i kind of this is kind of an impulse buy i'll be honest with you i have a gear wrench set we'll look at that so just browsing over some bit sets i have this is my absolute favorite bit set right here the weird tool check plus this thing is a this thing is the baddest Bit set on a planet, $75, well worth the money with everything. I also have this to go with that, and these bits are the Weira, um, these are the Weira bit check, bit check, and these are absolutely phenomenal. They actually have a great fitment to them, and they fit a little bit tighter, so that way they hang on. We have the gear wrench set, which is pretty similar to that. We'll look at the quality versus that. I have a little tiny Tekton set which is for doing like some screen stuff and whatnot. And I have the Mac Tools uh, eighth inch hex bit set, which the one cool thing I like about this set is the, the, the ratchet. I like the, the screwdriver handle and this little guy right here, this little flexible unit. 
that's right the little end moves on it so you put it in here and all the eighth inch bits in their spot that they have a little bit bulky on the case but this is a toolbox tool kit so uh, a lot of you're like well cp why do you have so many big kits well like i said specialty bit kit i also have the mac rbdrt bit kit right here this is an awesome bit kit but this is a specialty bit kit because it's rbrt bits so i only use this for very special things so uh, a couple reasons why i have all these bit kits like i said one is a specialty for um lcd screen repair stuff right here the weir bit stuff is my personal favorite you do not touch this bit set when you come to my shop unless you are the hand of god or me because this is for me and for me only and then this also is another specialty one i use for getting into tight access in weird places with that little bit driver handle but this is everybody this is the this is the community one and i wanted another community one so uh, <laughs> right now that's that's the quick explanation for that so at this point everybody's probably dying to see the Dur duratech bit driver set which is a nice i do like this right here thumb wheel on it nice little ending 12 point end on here which is pretty sweet uh the bits are actually pretty nice s2 steel once again like i said you can't complain about that s2 steel on them uh 72 tooth i would imagine is the is the ratcheting mechanism uh i didn't really look and see too deep into it but it's a nice little compact bit kit and it goes from your s to at your s0 all the way up to your at number three bits and then you have a this is a standard set which has a quarter inch all the way up to a nine sixteenths where's that half inch yeah, half inch. I apologize. The numbers are kind of off here. So numbers are just adjacent to the right. Plus you have 530 seconds flats to 516s. And then uh, your Robinson bits for you Canadian fellas who have that. So nice deal. This end is a 10 millimeter end. I believe on this 12 point 10 millimeter end. Very nice finish. Once again, for $20, I can't really judge it as negative. You go into the uh, Harbor Freight and you see those bit kits. This is a much better buy, in my opinion. But then we come over here to the bit. Now, I would have liked to have the metric set. I don't know if that had that option, but I will put a link in the description if they do. Then you have all these bits right here, which has a tamper-proof torque set from uh, T40 to T25. And they're non-tamper-proof, uh, non-tamper, uh, your, your hex bits, 564th to 964th, uh, and then 532nd. And then we have your security flat tips right there and then a couple flat tips and then a t6 t8 and a t10 in non security torque so it's a nice little bit set uh, i think i think this whole set was 20 bucks i believe i don't i'll have to put a link in the description i can't keep track of the prices guys i, I have so much going on uh, it's kind of a moot point to me anymore to be honest with you like i don't do these videos because i really care too much about a bunch of prices but this is a budget tool uh, and this one's not gonna. This one's gonna be a lower access tool. It doesn't have the thumb wheel on the back of it, but it's a nice little ratchet. Uh, very similar, 72 tooth. But the bit, bit fitments on these are really nice to go in. It's got a magnetic in every one of these, as you can see in there. Very positive engagement. Then you got your bit driver for a nice bit set to have in your home, in your toolbox. And I, I do like the stackable design. Takes up less uh, footprint, gives you up more height. You know, you would always like it's like a building a house. You know, if you build up, you save money, and that's what toolbox. If you fill up in a toolbox instead of taking up your floor space, uh, you're going to save yourself money. And I really wished I would have say it. So this is a 34 and a 24 piece set. I really wished I would have got the metric set. I don't know why. That's not a metric. I don't know how I ended up getting the SAC SAE. Maybe that was kind of the deal, but they are right there. S2 steel. I didn't even look at that. I just assumed they were S2 steel. I, I didn't even pay attention to that, you know, CRV and uh, hidden hanger. Oh, there's a hidden hanger. Where's it? Oh, look at that. Look at that little fella. So this little guy slides up here. Come on, little fella. Ha! Look at that. They thought of everything. So you can actually even hang it. 
I'll be, I'll be damned. So there you go, guys. I know this was an extremely long video. Dirt, Duratec bits and your micro uh, driver set. Uh, well worth forty dollars, in my opinion. Uh, not, not gonna get you the greatest quality in the world, but uh, you're going to Harbor Freight. You buy those kits. You're spending forty dollars right there, not a bad deal. Anyways, like, comment, share, subscribe, ring that bell. Remember, keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.